In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a custom keyboard widget, utilize different keyboard modes, style it, and connect it to one or more text fields. Let's get started! You can find the keyboard widget in the controller group under the Widgets tab. You are free to resize the keyboard on the canvas. Here in the Target Text Area section, you can link it to a text area, which we'll discuss later. The keyboard can be used in various modes. Click the drop-down for mode to set the default keyboard type. Options include text lower, text upper, special, and number. In play mode, you can access the special mode by clicking the one hashtag button in the top left corner of the keyboard. Clicking the ABC button will return you to text lower mode. Additionally, you can capitalize letters just like any other keyboard by clicking the ABC button. In the inspector tab, under the style settings group, you can customize the keyboard. The keyboard consists of two parts, main and items. Main refers to the base keyboard, while items pertain to letters, numbers, and special characters. In the main section, expand the background section and set the background radius to 15. I have already created global colors for the project in the Themes Manager. For the background color, choose a peacock blue from the theme color using the global colors. In the Items section, expand the background and set the background radius to 15. Set the background color to Aegean. For the text, choose white and increase the font size to Montserrat 18. Change the state drop-down from default to checked so you can modify the color of other buttons on the keyboard. In the items group, adjust the background color to light. For the pressed state, set the items background to winter blue. Expand the outline section and set the outline color to sky blue with a width of three. Also change the text color to white, then test pressed state in play mode. Now that we've styled the keyboard, let's return to the target text area parameters. Add two text area widgets from the basic group to the screen. Position them above the keyboard, spaced apart. When you click the keyboard and then the target text area dropdown, you'll see the created text area options. Choose one of them. Click play mode and observe how it works. As you type using the keyboard, the text appears in real time in the text area's placeholder. We've successfully connected the keyboard. What if we want to link both text areas to the keyboard? For this, we'll need to use events. Stop play mode. Click the other text area widget, scroll to the bottom of the inspector tab, and click add event. Set the trigger to focused and the action to keyboard set target. Choose the keyboard and the selected text area. Now I'll set the same parameters for the other text area. So I click add event, scroll down and choose focused as the trigger. For the action, I select keyboard set target. Then, I press Add. Under Keyboard, I choose the keyboard, and for the text area, I select the other one. If I click on Play Mode, then click into the left side text area and start typing, the text will appear immediately. If I click into the right side text area, it also works in real time, allowing me to type anything. So, we're done. We've successfully connected our custom keyboard to multiple text fields. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified about our latest videos on time.